Dear Miss Rawwell, I was reading your book 1984 and couldn't help but notice he wrote it in 1948. What a crazy coincidence. Dear Mr. Orwell, my name's Chloe. I'm a TV producer and we absolutely love your work. We were hoping you might like to appear in the next series of Big Brother. Dear George, I have to say I hate your recent work. It's much too gloomy and political. I much preferred your earlier stuff, like that farm book. When can we see more animal stuff? Maybe a story about a giraffe and a lion who fall out, or a polar bear and a penguin who make friends? Dear Eric, you still owe me ten dollars for that lunch we had in Barcelona. I'm enclosing a barracuda I caught off the coast of Florida. Hope it doesn't go off in the post. Yours, Hemingway. Off in the post? Oh! <coughs> it went off in the post! Dear Mr. Orwell, I would like to coin, with your permission, a new phrase. Orwellian. To mean one who always looks like shit. I mean really awful, on the point of death constantly. Oh, a telegram. Oh, well, stop. You dirty son of a bitch, stop. Don't think I won't get you back for this stop. You better watch out, stop. Chaplin, stop. P.S. Why not see my latest film, stop? <laughs> yeah. Fuck you, Chaplin. Dear Miss Rawwell, you were right. Everything you wrote about in 1984 is slowly coming true. Multiple different types of people can use multiple different types of public toilets. There's no such thing as rights anymore. Let's remember writing about... Also, my clock is now striking 13, although that may be because I'm using 24-hour time. We do hope you'll consider this offer, as we'd love to have you on Big Brother. Other celebrities who have appeared on the show include Preston, Jackie Stallone, and H from Steps. <gasps> H from Steps! Dear Mr. Orwell, this is going to sound crazy, but go with me on this. Did you know that something in Russia happened that was really similar to your farm book? Did they get the idea from you? Dear Mr. Blair, please find enclosed a cheque for your latest contributions to BBC programming valued at zero pounds and zero pence. Well, that's more than last time. 